e-commerce as MMA. I said it almost a year ago at this point, and I'll say it again, it is the new wave of social media marketing agency. It is essentially SMMA 2.0, and I feel like the market is finally catching up. I see more and more of you looking at this alternative instead of a, a typical traditional SMMA, a lead generation agency, and you're excited about going into the e-commerce space, but there's a few things that you must know in order to be successful with e-commerce agency and not implementing some of the lessons that I'm about to share with you. It's probably gonna cost you a lot of time, energy, focus, and money. And so in this video, I'm gonna show with you some of the lessons that I've learned from taking my e-commerce agency from literally zero to $50,000 profit in just two years. So if you wanna know the truth about e-commerce marketing agency, all you gotta do is keep on watching. So I want you to imagine this scenario. You hear about e-commerce marketing agency from my YouTube videos. You see that it's a really, really good option. You are excited, you're pumped and then you start your e-commerce marketing agency and you just dive into the deep end of the market and you decide to serve e-commerce businesses. You've determined that that is your niche. Now that is the path that most people take and it's also the way to make your life really, really hard. And I can tell you this from experience. The reason why that is, is because when you start, you don't have much experience, you don't have many uh, case studies, you don't have many testimonials, right? And so all of a sudden you enter this e-commerce space and now you're selling to e-commerce brands. Now, if you're uh, reaching out to a big e-commerce brand, an exciting e-commerce brand, which at the end of the day, who doesn't want to work with those bigger brands? The great thing about the e-commerce space is that you're working with brands that you truly, truly believe in. Oftentimes, they'll have an amazing product. They'll be much more healthy when it comes to their profit margins. But essentially, the core problem with that is that if you're reaching out to premium clients, there's a few other agencies that are reaching out to those clients as well. The first type of agency is just like you, the e-commerce agency. The main difference, however, is that this e-commerce agency has a lot more experience. They've had quite a lot of clients under their belt and they know what they're doing, right? And so that's the first type of agency. And the second type of agency is what I call the do-it-all agency, right? And they've done every single niche under the sun. They've done dentists, clinics, restaurants, and they've also done tech e-commerce brands. They've also done beauty brands. They've done uh, nutrition brands and a bunch of other e-commerce sub niches. And so they've been around for a while. Now, when this brand that you're reaching out to gets your outreach, your outreach compared to these other agencies who are much more established, lies here, right? And their outreach lies here, simply because they have a lot more authority, right? And so it's actually very hard to sign this line because they're getting outreach from other agencies who are much more established, right? Now, most people don't even give any thought to this, right? They either run away from the truth or they're just not aware how business actually works, right? And so what you wanna do instead, instead of running away from the truth or instead of you know, thinking, well, if I just send out you know, hundreds and hundreds of cold emails, you know, one will land. Sure, you might sign one client, but when I take a look at results, I also take a look at the input, right? What has taken you to sign that client? If you've outreached for eight months, 12 months, right? You've sent out thousands of cold emails and you've signed one client, that's not a great result, right? What is the time investment? What is the opportunity cost that you put into that, right? What you wanna do instead is become very self-aware as to what your weaknesses are. You don't have much experience. You don't have any case studies. You're just starting out, right? Those are facts, right? However, what you wanna focus on now is how can I get an edge over these other agencies? What is something that I can do that they're not doing? Okay. The easiest way to get an edge over these other agencies and get almost an unfair advantage is by getting crystal clear on your irresistible offer. And part of that irresistible offer is saying, okay, what is one vertical that I can go down and learn all about, become obsessed with that, right? And brand myself as the go-to agency in that specific vertical in the e-commerce space. Let's just say, for example, that you decide to go down the tech route, okay? Now what you've done is you've branded yourself as this tech agency, you've, you understand what tech brands resonate with, what they value, who the main competitors are, how they structure their sales funnel. You understand everything about that space from A to C, right? And not only that, but you can personalize your outreach a lot more. So when you're reaching out to these brands, now all of a sudden you may still be going up against these other agencies, but you've got an unfair advantage over them. You've got the fact that this is your turf, this is your space, right? And you're reaching out to a tech brand. Okay? And so all of a sudden, yes, you still don't have case studies. Yes, you still don't have much experience. You don't have many testimonials because you're just starting out, right? And that's completely fine. But you have this strength over these other agencies. And so you've gone from here to here, and now you're literally on the same level or just a bit above these other agencies just by deciding to go down a specific vertical, a specific sub niche within the e-commerce sector. So that is the first thing that you want to keep in mind. And that is a massive truth of the e-commerce agency that the vast, vast majority of people are not implementing. Most people go straight into the e-commerce sector and they try to compete with these other bigger agencies. And obviously they struggle. Now there's a lot more 
to that struggle than just, you know, obviously at picking your vertical. You know, maybe your email copy is not quite there. You don't have an irresistible call to action. Your sales funnel is not quite there either. And maybe you haven't automated your sales just yet, right? Or maybe your branding is not on point. But what I can tell you is that out of those things, the easiest edge that you can get is by picking your sub niche within the e-commerce sector. So that is the first truth about an e-commerce agency. Well, before we get into the next truth, if you're enjoying this video, you know what to do. I'd really appreciate it if you could uh, gently tap the like button. YouTube just finds it extremely sexy when that gray like button turns blue. So uh, I'd really appreciate it. And with that being said, let's get back into the video. The second one comes down to service delivery. I've heard a lot of talk about whether, you know, e-commerce is harder to do. And here is my honest take on that. At this point, I've done lead generation. I actually started my agency helping gym and health centers, right? So that was lead generation. I've done lead generation. I still had a team, but I was doing lead generation. Then I switched to e-commerce. And what I can tell you is that sure, e-commerce may have a bit more complexity to it, but the possible upside far exceeds the downside of the added complexity. The second thing that you wanna keep in mind and the way I approached it when I actually started in the e-commerce space is that sure, the service might be harder, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna focus on the things that I can control. I'm not a Facebook ads expert. I never was, right? What I understood is that when I started out, I wasn't a Facebook ads expert and I didn't wanna put in you know, three to five years of being in the trenches every single day to become a Facebook ads expert and not start my agency until then, okay? So what I decided to do is just focus on the things that I could control. And what I could control is getting people in my team that were A players that were Facebook ads experts specifically for the e-commerce space. A lot of these people that I interviewed and the people that I hired had either run their Shopify stores in the past or had helped a lot of brands uh, scale their Shopify stores, right? And so they were experts in that specific field. And so all of a sudden, I don't really care if it's harder because I've put in a lot of work into my hiring process, into hiring the right A player. In fact, if anything, I'm happy that it's harder because that means two things. Number one is not as many people get into it because most people that are scared of putting in the work and they just want to get rich quick, uh, they are more drawn to the low bar to entry uh, business models and niches. So great, right? And if something's harder, it probably means that there's more upside to it. So that is the first thing that I did. I, I controlled what I could control and I focused my energy on hiring an A player that would take care of the service delivery so that the typical notion of e-commerce is harder. It's just completely out of the equation, okay? Having said that, there's a few things that you want to keep in mind when you approach e-commerce, when it comes to the service delivery, which no one talks about uh, in the space. It all seems like uh, it's all about signing clients. But what about keeping this client, right? Um, there's a few things that you want to keep in mind, okay? And if you don't implement these things, it's going to be very, very hard to be successful. What you want to keep in mind is that e-commerce growth is not one dimensional. What I mean by that is that you cannot look at e-commerce growth from just purely a Facebook ads lens or a Google ads lens or a email marketing lens, whatever you're offering for clients. What you want to do is sure you want to focus on one single service, at least at the start. You know, I can talk about the upselling different services to e-commerce clients and, and making your value even higher so that you get paid more. Um, but what you want to do is just focus on one single service. What you don't want to do, however, is neglect all the different aspects of an e-commerce business and components that have to be in unison to grow that business. Let me give you an example. When I started out in the e-commerce space, I was just purely focused on the service. At that time, it was just me and my contractor, right? My contractor, a top expert. La Camp de la Camp when it comes to Facebook ads for e-commerce, right? However, the big mistake that, uh, that I did as the agency owner is not having a 360 approach to e-commerce growth. My contractor was doing his job, right? He was doing the Facebook ads. But what I failed to realize is that there's so many different components that we could be consulting our clients for free, right? I'm not saying, you know, charging them more, but just completely for free to make sure that our service actually generates higher returns. We're making really good results, but if we had just taken a look, for example, at the landing page, where we're driving all the traffic, is that page fully optimized? Can we tell the client to change a few things? Like, I don't know, maybe for, for example, the color of the buttons, okay? The head, the titles, can we get a video in there? Can we get some testimonials in there, right? What can we do to make the landing page that we're driving all the traffic to, that we're spending, you know, hundreds of thousands of dollars to drive traffic to, convert 1% higher? Because that could mean an extra five figures every single month that we are accountable for. Okay. Can we take a look at their email campaigns? I'm not talking about even doing them at that point, right? But can we take a look at their email marketing and give them a, a few uh, tips as to maybe, for example, their abandoned cart flow, just very, very simple, right? Or their browse abandonment flow, right? Can we give them those consultations, those free consultations so that we're much more agile and we're not just looking at one lever, which is the Facebook ads lever for growing a business online, right? We're looking at various levers. We might not pull them, but we might tell the client to pull them, right? Because we're giving them really, really actionable strategies. Not only does it generate more revenue, but I also found that it builds a lot more reward and authority in the client's eyes. And then it almost becomes effortless to upsell them to these other services. And I could talk about that for hours on end, but that is essentially the last thing that I want you guys to keep in mind when it comes to starting your e-commerce agency. And if you're already running yours, then implement these strategies because it's gonna make your life a whole lot easier and uh, make you scale much, much faster. So if you guys enjoyed this video, go ahead and drop a massive thumbs up. It helps out a ton with the algorithm, the whole channel, and I'd really appreciate it. 
Also leave down below any comments, any questions you may have on this video, and I'll be sure to check those out. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, there's so much content coming out on entrepreneurship, social media marketing agency, and a bunch of other really, really cool topics. And the final thing is, I never say this, I never talk about this. I keep my one-to-one -one mentorship super low-key. Um, you know, every once in a while, I, I, I host my uh, 10K club, which are all the students that have gone from zero to 10K with their agency, most of them in 90 days or less with my mentorship. And we just kick it for an hour or two uh, in my free Facebook mastermind. But what I'm getting at is my mentorship is gonna be closing very, very soon. And the reason why that is, is because there's no one in the space who's at the size of my agency, $50,000 profit every single month that is still offering one-to-one -one mentorship. It makes absolutely no financial sense for me. It's not scalable, but what I'm doing is I'm optimizing for legacy, right? I'm optimizing for student results. And that is why my mentorship yields the best results in the industry. That is not just fluff, that is actual facts. If you wanna double check that, you can join my free Facebook mastermind. But what I'm getting at is if you are interested in getting one-to-one -one mentorship from, I've gotten a lot of DMs, emails, messages uh, regarding it. If I haven't answered your message, it's because all these seven slots are fully booked in and it's not until one slot frees up that I start interviewing for the next slot. Having said that, if you're interested in scaling your agency to 10K a month profit in record-breaking time, which is what I'm achieving with my students, you can go ahead and check out the link in the description. That is my schedule link. You can book in a call with me and we can see if you'd be a good fit. Bear in mind, this is paid, so it's not for everyone. But if you're interested in cutting through the fluff and getting results with your agency, then this might interest you. So if you're interested in that, go ahead and check out the link in the description. Uh, and we can have a little chat. And as always, hope everything's going well in your journey and I will see you in the next one. Peace.